Okay, so you've been tasked with finding the area of this particular triangle where each side has been given to you, but you don't know what the angles are. You don't really need the angles to begin with anyways, in this case. What you do need to know and realize, though, is that you need to use a formula called Heron's, where you find the area in units squared in this case, because you're not really given anything else. You just know that random units. And Heron's formula is that S is equal to excuse me, um, Heron's formula is the square root of s times the quantity s minus a times the quantity s minus b times the f quantity of s minus c. So, you don't know what s is at that point, so here it is. s is equal to one half of the quantity of a plus b plus c. So these are all given to you already, so what you need to do is first find s. So again, there they are, right there. So one half of a plus b plus c. These numbers right there, 11 and 9 equal 20. One half of that is equal to 10, so that's your s value. We're not done yet though, because that's only the value of s. We'll use that value of s, 10, and multiply and substitute that in with these numbers right over here too. So, the square root of this right here, 10 times the quantity of 10 minus 6 times the quantity of 10 minus 5 times the quantity of 10 minus 9. That works out to being 4, 5, and 1 in the parentheses here. 4, 5, 1. Now I am simplifying this, but I'm just trying to make sure that um, you could do this all at once. I'm just trying to break it down into easier steps so it's easier to follow, slightly at least. 10 times 4, 40. 5 times 1, 5. 40 times 50 is 200, and that's all under the square root. So when you take the square root of 200, you are left with 14.14 square units. And we got there by using Heron's formula.